What's up everybody? Just wanted to show everybody my new project I got going on here. As you see, I got two uh, 150 watt panels up here. I got them tandem inside by side and I got them mounted on this trailer I bought. Bought it online. Live it right to the house. Got a little hitch on it. You can hook the hook the uh, lawnmower to it and everything. Pretty, you know, pretty handy, neat. It's got a tilt bed on it also. I can use it later if I get decide I don't want this. I went and got some of this uh, angle here, slotted angle. And you see, I raised it a little bit in the front. Put a little bit in the back, back here. And I got it up here in the angle, about 70 something degrees. That's what it's supposed to be. I ain't quite got it accurate yet. And then I took them and I tied them into both positives, both po negatives together. Tied them in and I run them over here to this battery. Y'all check it out. I went and I bought me a box also. You see I got some holes in the back of it for air. But I got a uh, six 12 volt, 33 amp deep cycle batteries. I got them all wired in tandem, positive to positive, negative to negative, which gives me an entirely 12 volt system. You see down here at the bottom, I got a little fan to uh, keep them cool and keep the hydrogen pulled off of them. And uh, got all them wire wired in together and check this out this is what i got them tied into at the top to the inverter all right now you see on top here we got my positive and my negative coming from the batteries at the bottom going into my inverter you see it's a uh, 12 volt dc 60 hertz my well, 110 to 130 volt so I can pretty much run anything I want. I got one, two, got one, two, I think uh, three power outlets on it. Also over here on the other side, you see here it's a 220. I got it mounted there, so if everyone wanted to just take these two lines here and just hook them over there, I can run 220 if I need to. And you see here, right here is the battery solar panel charger indicator you see right here the solar panels is coming in on this side and on the next side going to the battery and right beside that something i can run lights and stuff off of if i need to but it's got uh shows you the what the solar panels is putting out 13.7 then also over here, the battery shows us what it's setting at. It's about 2.2 volts. And if you look on the battery part, you see it's about, about half full. I need it to go a full day of charging out here. <clears throat> but, uh, Pretty neat project in case we have hurricanes and stuff coming in, you know, you know how North Carolina is. This thing right here, I ain't got to go stand no gas line or anything like that. I just plug it right up and run. Main problem was the, my main thought was to get it where I could run my pump, my, my well, and get me some fresh water, but right now that's what i got going on i probably got about about 300 bucks in it i don't know and probably about 500 bucks in it with all the batteries and everything but it'll be worth it if I ever need it got solar power i'm gonna hook it up to my aquaponics system and run it off of it so just so i can use it all the time without just putting it up use it only when the hurricanes and stuff is here that's all i got for right now Till next time.